Hi there, my name is Chris, and I just want to give an overview of an edges first, then corners method for solving the Rubik's Cube. Um, I've been solving the Rubik's Cube since somewhere around 2004, and at that time when I first started learning, Rubik's.com had a beginner's method on their website, which was an edges first, then corners method for solving the Rubik's Cube, um, which seems to have sort of been lost um, when I've searched on uh, the Rubik's Wiki and other places, there doesn't really seem to be any mention of an edges first method anymore. Um, but it's something that I learned. It was a wildly inefficient method to solve the cube, um, much more inefficient than the later um, layer by layer method that became um, advocated for not only on Rubik's.com, um, but also by Bad Mephisto. Um, it's been sort of adapted uh, by uh, cubers now um, to where there's not as many algorithms. I think that method traditionally had seven algorithms that was used on the layer by layer by me layer by layer method. Um, anyway, um, this particular uh, method of mine um, was sort of my attempt to intuitively find shortcuts to that old Rubik's method, and I believe I found some pretty good shortcuts to that to where I was able to, once I had everything up to speed, um, solve the cube in an average of about 40 or 45 seconds or so with about three algorithms. Um, two of those algorithms are I mirror depending on the case, whether it's on the one side or the other. So technically you could say five algorithms. Um, but it starts off um, as you would expect um, any method um, that, that it's a cross first method. Um, and then from the cross, um, then you're gonna go to middle layer edges and then last layer edges. So once that's done, a cube would look something like this um, once you have all the edges done. Um, the next step would be to put all the corners in place without moving into the edges. Um, so here's an example where it uh, looks like there are um, seven corners that are oriented incorrectly, but they're all positioned. Um, and then once you rotate all of the cubes and all the corners, then you would have a solved cube. Um, so I want to do, um, this is not a tutorial of how to do this, but um, for those that already know how to solve the Rubik's Cube, um, this should be quite familiar in terms of how to solve it. Um, there's going to be some intuitive steps that I'm not going to explain why they work. I'm just going to give an overview of this particular method with a walkthrough. Um, so that you can see how it works. So of course, first step here, um, I'm gonna do my cross, um, white cross, that's to, that's how I learned. Um, unfortunately, never became color neutral as a result, although now I can do yellow cross first um, without too much trouble. Okay, next, um, instead of a traditional F2L where you're gonna do um, corner edge pair and do uh, first two layers at the same time, or even uh, beginners layer by layer where you do the corner first, this you're only going to focus on the edges. Um, but it's going to be the exact same approach that you would be doing um, where you're putting each edge into the slot. This one needs to go back here, so I'm going to put that in the back slot. Um, this one is going to go over here. Um, what I was able to do before putting in the last edge in the middle layer, I'm going to do um, edge orientation so that uh, when you put in the last edge, you get all yellow on the top. And then from there, um, it's going to be a, a U-perm here. So the Rubik's algorithm that they gave here was, I would say, pretty inefficient compared to what we can do now. Um, now I would just do the middle layer U-perm there for that. And so depending on whether you're rotating the three edges uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, you have two algorithms for that. Um, but once you're done with that, then you have all the edges in place. And then from there, it's time to move to the corners. Um, so what I did typically at this point is I put in all the white corners first. Um, and the algorithm that they taught in the Rubik's Beginner Method that I uh, just continued to use for this is an algorithm that moves three corners clockwise. So uh, wherever this, this piece is here, or I should say sticker, but they're not stickers anymore for the most part because it's stickerless, but this sticker here, or this piece is going to go on this end. Or if you were to do the counterclockwise version, it's going to end up over here. 
Um, so what I would do is I would rotate the bottom layer freely so I could get this in position to go here. Um, this is going to end up in a solved place. I would try to hopefully find um, corner pieces that had the white sticker not on the bottom so that when I did the algorithm, it would end up already in a solved position up top. Um, so this is just a simple eight move algorithm that's going to rotate these three corners. That's going to put this one here. Um, then this one I'm going to put here and then I'm going to do the left or called the left handed version of it, but it's essentially the um, coming at it from the other direction. I put the, puts that one there. This one, of course, I want to rotate so it comes up here. And then one more corner, this one, I'm not going to get it orientated correctly. But this one now, after that algorithm, I have the four white corners in place. Um, then I come to the yellow layer. Um, this one can move over here. They're all out of place. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this one here. I know that this red sticker is going to come to the back. This yellow is going to come up on the front here. So that one's going to be oriented correctly. And then I'm going to move these three corners in place here. Um, and that's going to leave me with three out of place corners here. So we've used um, two algorithms. When you account for their mirrored cases, um, we've used four algorithms. And then the last algorithm rotates two corners this way. So it's basically two soon cases put together. So I rotated those two ones, and then you have two corners left. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these corners next to each other like that, rotate these down, and then last layer correction. And that is how um, the edges first method that I ad adapted came to be. Um, cross first, all edges in place uh, with edge orientation on the last layer, and then uh, corners, put all the corners in place, and then rotate them two at a time until the whole cube is solved. Anyway, that's just an overview of that. Hopefully uh, that made sense. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those, and um, hope you enjoyed.